welcome to video number 22 SQL reporting service and today we are going to see the sorting and I can see let's it has been resumed all right next thing uh, how we do the sorting uh, in reporting service we are going to see that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna right click whoopsie right click <coughs> add a new item and I'm gonna add a report and I'm gonna call this report as sorting report all right hit OK and you can see your report next thing I'm not gonna add any data source because we have a generic data source which points to our instance already so we don't need to create that so simply I'm gonna create start adding a new st data set I'm gonna call this data set as get some data and then I'm gonna choose the new because I don't have any data source in here when I say new it doesn't mean that we are creating the new but instead we are using an option called as use data source reference which we already have in the right hand side so I'm gonna choose this so I'm connected to the database and next thing I'm gonna write a query and the query I'm gonna uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make it a little complex I'm gonna add category and I'm gonna add products alright so join is made and everything looks great <coughs> next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose product name I'm gonna choose category name and uh, few more properties unit price quantity per price and let's hit OK let's execute and we'll see 77 records everything looks great and let's hit ok <coughs> so our data set is ready and our data source is also ready the data source is actually nothing but this guy which is pointing over here next thing what we need to do is in order to show the data we need to use the tools so our favorite tool is table then uh, select the header and let's apply a tiny whiny color what are you going to apply is I don't know so this is what I have applied that is C green <coughs> next thing go back to report data and start adding uh, uh, first is your category name second you're going to add a product third is you're going to add a unit price and let's add one more column we're going to call this column as uh, quantity per unit alright <coughs> and I'm gonna make uh, this table little stretch so we can see our data nicely and precisely so I'm gonna preview this thing and as you can see <coughs> I get the data right but as you can see the sorting is not done over here right so it's uh, the beverages was up and the beverages down as well so we need to apply a sorting so how do we apply a sorting so in order to apply a sorting you need to select the this gray section all right the gray section you need to select then right click on it you'll find the tablex properties now this table is called as tablex in terms of sql then there's an option called as sorting <coughs> now this gives you a facility that you can do or add a sorting so we're gonna add a sorting and now it asks you how many fields you got you got like four fields so what exactly you want to sort by so i want to sort by category name a to Z means ascending order, Z to A means descending order. I'm going to simply hit OK and I'm going to save it and I'm going to preview it and the moment I do that I see all the beverages are lined up. Alright, so this is cool. Next thing I'll get back to my design and if I want, this was an ascending, right? So I want to make it as descending. I don't like ascending. So I'll go and I'll make it as Z to A so now it's descending. I'm gonna save it again I'm gonna try to preview again <coughs> and it's great it's working fine it's cool next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the uh, the tablex again and I'm gonna right click whoopsie I'm gonna select tablex properties and I go back to sorting and I'll add one more sorting one more level of sorting so I'm saying hey once you do the category uh, sort order by A to Z I mean once you done sorting with A to Z ascending order the next thing I want you to sort is by a product name and again in the ascending order and I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna save and I'm gonna preview <coughs> alright so beverages and then you can see the product names are sorted as well cool and if I like uh, to change the property the sorting of uh, the product name where the category name will be sorted ascending but the products will be sorted by descending I'm gonna still say ok save it I'm gonna preview it so you can see right so this is what is the sorting so it it does not matter like you know uh, we are doing the sorting on one table 
uh, it's like a join you can apply a join at infinity level and you can have the sorting the way you want right but looking at the sorting and if you imagine your user is watching this and he feels pretty uncomfortable because every time he needs to go back and he needs to shuffle the level of sorting right so there has to be some way uh, you know the interactive sorting using which the user will click on here on the top of the category name or the product name based on which you know everything shuffles automatically and they get sorted automatically so I hope in this video you got an idea what I was trying to show in next then in the next video I'll try to show you the interact so interactive sorting which is very much cooler and very much fantastic <coughs> which actually uh, people use this every day all right so I hope you like this video uh, if this video helps you in any way then please give me a thumbs up to my video and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video good night and take care